Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Q. So today I am bringing you a St. Patrick's Day table setting. So I just want to do something quick and easy. I used some things that are around my house so I didn't have to go out to the store and purchase anything. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I put this thing together, then stay tuned. All right guys, like I said, I already had a lot of the stuff. Actually, I had everything in my home. So I didn't have to go and purchase anything. And a lot of the things, as you guys are aware of, if you are a subscriber of my channel, mostly everything that you see here came from the Dollar Tree. However, I do have a couple additional pieces that I did add to my collection and I will show you what those things are in a few minutes. All right, so let's get started. So right here, I have my Dollar Tree chargers. Like, you know, you guys know who are my subscribers. I always use Dollar Tree chargers pretty much for every event. So I do have these in gold and also have these in silver. But these are the gold ones I'm using since it is St. Patrick's Day and my color scheme is obviously green, gold, and white. That is what I am using, the gold ones. And on my charger plates, just to kind of give it more of that St. Patrick's Day feel, I have my shamrocks. I just cut these out and just have them placed on each of the charger plates. And I thought this was a cute little addition to kind of add to the whole St. Patrick's theme. Also, um, your guests can write cute little notes and, you know, do some little cheesy things with them. But yeah, I thought this was just a cute little added touch to add these shamrocks to the actual charger plates. And then next, as far as my centerpieces, I have my Dollar Tree jars that I wrapped in my bling wrap. And these are pretty easy. The ones that are taller are just two Dollar Tree jars that I attach together. And I have the bling wrap on them as well. Then I have my roses on top. Now I was thinking about using green flowers, but I didn't have any for one. And I don't know, that might be cute too. I didn't want it to kind of clash with my backdrop, but I don't know, you guys can try that if you want to. So I have that. And then I also have my Dollar Tree little jars right here with my tea light candles i love these candles these did not come from the dollar tree i will put a link in the description below but i do want to show you guys how awesome these candles are let me dry it off real fast so anyway they look like that and then when you put it in your glass voila yeah these things are awesome they add that little extra touch to all my table settings so again i have my dollar tree jars and then i have my dollar tree candles inside Next, I have my sequin tablecloth. I love this thing. It is so blingy. And yeah, this thing is awesome. So this did not come from the Dollar Tree, unfortunately. But you know, you don't have to use a gold sequin tablecloth. You can actually switch things up and use a, you know, green tablecloth. And you know, cause I don't think they have gold, but I'm sure they do have green. Actually, they do have green. And you can, you know, just kind of change the colors up a bit. But I did have this gold sequin tablecloth already. So I'm using this to give that extra little blinginess to it. And then I have a uh, green table runner. And actually this table, it's not even a table runner. It's actually a chair sash. I find it a little more cheaper <laughs> to just use my chair sashes as table runners at times. So that's what I'm using right here. And you guys, please iron your uh, table runners. Don't do what I'm doing right here. I tried to put this together for you guys, so I didn't actually iron it. But anyway, if you are throwing a party, please iron your tablecloths and your table runners. And what else? Um, oh, let's go to the backdrop over here. So you guys, I'm in trying to do more with my backdrops in my table settings. So normally I'll just do my table settings and I'll show you guys what I did. But now I'm trying to incorporate more of the backdrops just to kind of add that extra touch. So you guys can actually see what it would really look like if you guys actually did set up one of these table settings. So my backdrop right here is actually, actually this is pretty cool you guys. If you guys haven't checked out my last, well one of my videos where I show you how I um, cheated my way into a double backdrop because I really don't feel like paying two three hundred dollars for a double backdrop stand so I got this uh, like this adapter to attach to just my regular photography stand and uh, yeah so I turned this baby into a double backdrop stand and it cost me like pretty much nothing anyway so as far as the backdrops I did just 
get these and I just ordered these white ones they are so nice you guys like I just loving it so and they drape really well so I have the two white ones on the ends and then I have this gold sequin one in the middle and then I have it attached using um, the actual um, curtains actually came with these right here so that's an added uh, added bonus so when I just use those to tie them back so I think it adds to the whole look and then I have my up lights going um, on my curtains just to give that that extra feel and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like with the lights off because it's really pretty you guys okay so this is a view with the lights off I do have a little light on because it's actually a little too dark so let me see if I can still turn it some more so you guys can actually see the up lights but I think this is a really cute easy um, St. Patrick's table setting that you can put together using mostly Dollar Tree items again you can replace the sequin tablecloths with I mean if you guys want to use if you guys even want to use Dollar Tree plastic tablecloths you can I do it a lot check out some of my videos and a lot of the times you can't even tell because you decorate them the table so much with other you know with other things that people don't even pay attention that it's actually a you know Dollar Tree tablecloth but again I do like the look of the sequin tablecloth and I do like my new backdrops you guys and if you guys like my backdrops and like this table setting and think that this is something that you would may possibly do or just like it then please um, write in the comments below or if you guys have any suggestions because I'm gonna be doing some more table settings and I like ideas so if you guys give me some ideas I'll try and see if I can do a few of them all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this please don't forget to hit that like button if you did like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can be a subscriber of this channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time I post a new video all right guys I will talk to you in the next one take care